I don't think people understand what an impeachment is and what it means and how it works. If any of you went to court, you know that just the fact that you had to go to court doesn't mean that you're guilty. Going to court doesn't mean that you did something wrong. If going to court means that you did something wrong, then we can forget about having a justice system. Just as long as someone can arrest you, that means you must be a bad guy, right? If someone can arrest you or take you to court, that means you must, have, you must be guilty, right? Well, that's not true. You know that's not true. So do I. And that's the thing with this impeachment. It's a political impeachment. It's not something about crime. It's not something that there's no crime been committed. The president hasn't broken the Constitution. He hasn't done any moral outrage. He discovered that Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden both put their sons as top CEOs of really rich Ukrainian companies. And then President Trump is saying, hey, Mr. President of Ukraine, I would like you to investigate what Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden are doing, getting political and economic favors for their children to be rich CEOs of companies. That's a, that's a valid question, especially when we're giving billions of dollars to Ukraine in national aid, you know? And while Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden are so, they're trying to do so much in American politics and they're trying to influence us and yet they're doing something corrupt, nepotism, for their children in Ukraine, exploiting the country of Ukraine for profit while we give that money lots of government aid. That's something President Trump is definitely should be doing. And he released his entire phone call. He hasn't done anything wrong. Everyone can see that. Except for people who want to get rid of the president. They don't care how they get rid of him as long as they can just get rid of him because it's political. And that's the, that's the way this is. This is a, a Democrat-run House of Representatives. They're working together. They're all on the same side. They don't care if there's really a crime been committed, broken the Constitution, or a serious moral outrage. No, they just want President Trump gone because he's draining the swamp and he's their political adversary. And so they don't agree with him, so they try to get rid of him by any means necessary. And that's wrong. And here's the thing. Impeachment is not a way to get rid of an elected president. Impeachment is only if a president has committed a crime. If the president has not committed a crime, then you can't impeach him because there's no crime. Impeachment is for actually people have committed crimes. People have broken the Constitution, they broke a serious law, or they've done something seriously bad, such as Bill Clinton having sex with his secretary, you know. That's what we're not supposed to be doing. That's what it's about. It has nothing to do with you just don't like that you lost the election, so now you get to get rid of him and to make up an accusation that's fake in order to get it through. No, 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 no. That's not what our rule of law has, and that's not how it works. So, and I just, I just listened to someone say, oh, 30 or 40% of Americans think that President Trump is innocent. No, 70 to 80%. Up to 90% of Americans think that President Trump is innocent, and we realize that this impeachment is a farce. 80 to 90%. But, of course, CNN gave out one original poll, and they polled their own people, and they said 30 to 40%. But independent pollers have since come out and said it actually 80 to 90% of Americans disagree with this whole impeachment thing. We don't want impeachment because he hasn't actually done any crimes, even if you don't like President Trump. And I'm not too happy with him right now, just because he's going against guns. Even if you don't like him, he hasn't done anything wrong to get impeached for. So if you don't like him, just vote him out. But if you do like him, vote for him. But he hasn't done any crimes. He can't be impeached. There's no, no crime, no, no impeachment. It's as simple as that. And so, but the person I talked to who believed that 30 or 40% don't agree with the impeachment. Actually, it's 80%, 70 to 80%. Well, they thought, well, if the House, if the House thinks that we should move forward with an inquiry for impeachment, then that means he's guilty. No. For an impeachment to happen, the House has to say, well, we want to impeach. And then the Senate has to say, yes, we think he's guilty. Taking someone to court 
does not make him guilty. The fact that a House of Representatives that's entirely run by Democrats, who are entirely tribal and have no interest in what's right or wrong or true, independent of their political party, they just want to do what's, what's good for their political party. They're willing to destroy their political enemies by any means necessary. They don't care if he's innocent. They don't care if any crime really has been committed. They just care that he's not a Democrat and he's their opponent, their political opponent, so they need to destroy him. And he's draining the swamp and Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden don't like that. So the fact that these guys, first of all, they're not very credible, okay? Second of all, even if it was a split up house, it wouldn't matter because that's not a declaration of guilt. The Senate has to declare his guilt.